Vibrant, vibrant, vibrant music teaching. Proven and practical tips, strategies, and ideas for music teachers. This is the Vibrant Music Teaching Podcast, episode 150. I'm Nicola Ganton, and in this special episode, we're talking about vision statements. We inspire lifelong musicianship in all our students through our creative approach to teaching and playing piano. We make music accessible to everyone using the latest technology, resources, and teaching methods. We bring communities together through music with local events and group projects that reach beyond the walls of our school. Our students receive a holistic education that can take them to the highest levels of music achievement. We develop adaptive, collaborative musicians who can jump into any musical opportunities that comes up in their life. Most parents struggle to get their kids to practice piano. We give you the tools you need to make practice routines feel easy. Many adults look back on their music lessons with anxiety and regret. Our lessons are so much fun that we can guarantee your child won't. Well, hello there, beautiful teachers, and welcome to this episode of the podcast. This is episode 150, and I wanted to do something a little bit different. So we started out with those various different fictional vision statements. All of those are underneath 150 characters, and this is your challenge for today. I want you to write your own vision statement for your studio that is under 150 characters. That is short. For context, that is just over the old Twitter character limit, or if that's not your style, that is just under what we used to be able to send in one text. And yes, I do remember the days when we used to carefully craft sentences to fit under those limits. If you were a teenager at the same time as me, you will remember that feeling well of trying to squish it all in so we didn't get an extra text charge for sending two messages. Back to our challenge, though. It is to create this vision statement for your studio that is only 150 characters. That is a normal length sentence or two short sentences, and you just heard a few examples that fit the bill. But let's unpack this idea of a vision statement. What does that mean? Is it just corporate speak? It definitely, definitely can be. Vision statements can be yucky, horrible things that say nothing and sit on the wall of a business and no one pays attention to them. They can become background wallpaper that nobody even notices. But they can also be powerful things. When used well, vision statements are something that everyone in a company even if that's just one person, can repeat. They can guide the decisions we make and help us to prioritize the different things we could be doing in our business. Before we get into a good vision statement for your studio and how to frame one, let's talk about a really bad one. So here's an example of what I consider to be a pretty poor vision statement. We help all students of all ages to understand and appreciate music. Maybe you do that, but that's not exactly inspiring and it's not going to guide you anywhere. A really good vision statement should be like a North Star. It should be something that guides you through when you need help navigating a situation. If your vision statement talks about collaborative playing, that is what you're going to prioritize for your next concert. That is going to guide you. If your vision statement talks about being more accessible, then that's going to guide the professional development you do to learn about learning differences and special needs and things you can do to make all students feel welcome in your studio. Here's the thing. You probably want to do both those things. You probably want your students to play in ensembles and you probably want to be accepting of all sorts of students. I'm not saying you shouldn't do more than one thing. I'm saying you pick one to reflect in your vision statement. 
This is the most important thing to you. If we stripped out everything else from your studio and made it generic, just, you know, music studio in a box, what is the one thing that if we added it back in, it would feel like your studio? That you would then be proud to be a part of it? Your vision statement needs to be specific and it needs to be unique to you. The ideal vision statement is something clear, easy to repeat, and specific to you. So if you do this well, and you craft your 150 characters carefully, or less (laughs) carefully, then if I take your statement and I put it on the wall in any random studio across your country, It should not fit. It might fit some, but it should be the rarity that it would work in someone's studio as their vision statement. You should aim for something that is just yours, uniquely yours, and reflects your core values as a teacher. Equally, it needs to be something that you can repeat. If I ask you next week what it is, you should be able to tell me. If I ask you, wake you up at three in the morning, and insists that you tell me your vision statement, you should be able to tell me, although I would never do that because sleep is far too valuable. But you should be able to repeat it to anyone, anywhere. And if you do have people working for you, they should be able to repeat it too. It should be the thing that exists throughout your business that guides what you do. Let's revisit those examples I gave you at the opening when everything was still mysterious and you didn't know what I was talking about. The first one is designed to reflect a studio whose core value is creativity. So the full statement is, at Studio A, in the written version I've given them A, B, C, D, at Studio A, we inspire lifelong musicianship in all our students through our creative approach to teaching and playing the piano. So they're all about creativity. That doesn't mean that they don't teach students to read. It doesn't mean that they don't care about technique or that they never play group music together. But it does mean that creativity is their most important factor. It's the thing that they believe makes them different and it's their core value. It's what they hold true. The next one, the core value I was trying to reflect was accessibility. It goes, at Studio B, we make music accessible to everyone using the latest technology, resources, and teaching methods. There's an additional slant there. They're implying that they're going to use tech to solve this problem, quote-unquote. They're going to use technology to help them to reach students from all different backgrounds and with all different abilities. The third studio is about community impact, and there's an implication of charity in here. So it says, Our vision at Studio C is to bring communities together through music with local events and group projects that reach beyond the walls of our studio. The next one was about achievement. This is maybe what we might consider to be a more traditional studio that's no less valid as a core value. If that's who you want to be, That's great, and that should be reflected in your vision statement. The students of Studio D receive a holistic education that can take them to the highest levels of music achievement. Now, if we just went to that word holistic, I included it there on purpose because it can be interpreted in multiple ways, but the full sentence gets across what they're trying to say. They mean holistic as in they're going to teach a thorough musicianship so that their students have great technique and can read really well and have a good interpretation maybe of music so that they can go to the highest levels of music achievement, right? That word holistic doesn't say enough on its own. It needs that extra parameter and that's given there. It's really about achievement. And there's an implication there about exams or competitions or maybe going on to conservatories. Then we have the ensemble-focused studio. At Studio E, we develop adaptive, collaborative musicians who can jump into any musical opportunity that comes up in their life. So there's a little bit of a slant there of lifelong musicianship, 
that's implying that this is going to continue for the rest of their life and that they're maybe going to play in bands or just any opportunity that comes up. But we're all about collaboration. We're all about creating students who can play with others. The next one is about practice. This follows a slightly different sentence formula, but it's still a vision statement as I see it. Most parents struggle to get their kids to practice piano. At Studio F, we give you the tools you need to make the practice routine feel easy. Now, we could have ended that with a second sentence in all sorts of ways. We could have said, we don't require practice. Or, we use so many fun teaching methods that your child will love practicing. But this particular studio is going to be guided towards parent education. That's really what this encompasses, right? We give you the tools you need to make the practice routine feel easy. So it does have that association with the parent is going to be involved here. And then the last one is what I've called anti-traditional. You might interpret this as a different core value, but a different word there. Many adults look back on their music educations with anxiety and regret. Studio G's lessons are so much fun that we can guarantee your child won't. So this speaks to a concern many parents have, which is that music lessons they took as a kid turned them off to music. This is something I hear from parents who join my studio, so it's out there. And this studio is is seeking to fix that problem for them. That's what it's highlighting. So again, you may agree with all of those. You may want your students to be able to participate in competitions. You may want them to be able to play in groups. You may want to educate parents on great practice routines. You may want to do all of those things. But you have to pick one core value, which is the one that you want emblazoned all across your studio. What is the thing that you want to stand behind? Have a go at crafting this vision statement. And please, I would love to see these. It would be a very special 150th episode treat for me to read your vision statements. So go over and visit the show notes. You can find the article that goes along with this episode on the Colourful Keys blog or at vibrantmusicteaching.com slash 150. And write your vision statement in there. 150 characters or less. I'm really looking forward to hearing them, reading them, and hearing them as I read them out loud to myself. And I will see you back here on the next episode. Vibrant Music Teaching members get five new games or resources at least every single month that keep them inspired and wanting to become a better teacher each and every day. If you want to join the best community of teachers online, you can go to vmt.ninja and sign up today.